Hey, how's it going? In this video, I'm going to teach you how to create an auto blogger using ChatGPT and Make. This will generate articles for you completely on its own at a frequency which you need. So you could have it create one article a day, 10 articles a day, one a month, one a year, whatever you feel like. It's all down to ChatGPT and it's down to what Make schedule you set it. First of all, you will need to create a new module. You right click, you go to add module, then you'll need the open AI module, which looks like this. And if we search for it here, open AI, it's this one here, the DAO E and ChatGPT. The module here, so it starts, you'll need to select the create a chat completion. If you use create a prompt completion, that's fine, but you need to set up your prompt beforehand in OpenAI, or you could pass the information via here. I would use a chat completion. It's far more robust. You'll get a far better output. Then you need to choose the model. 3.5 is good for this. You can just use GPT-4 if you fancy it, if you're writing something more technical, um, but 3.5 is great. Then down here, you will need to set a role. It doesn't matter what this one is here. I just use system. We're passing a message to open AI for it to complete as in like a chat and it will send you back the information. So first of all, I'm creating a title. The title here, I give it some parameters to work with in. So I've told it it's a writer and I've asked it to write one creative title within the deadlifting niche or sub niche. And I've told it it's your choice, but here's some sub niches to choose from. So then I've listed a bunch of sub niches just so it can't venture too far, but far enough. And then I have asked ChatGPT to write a creative title, but no more than 65 characters in length. The reason why I'm doing this is because SEO titles are great at 65 characters or less. If you start writing more, it's harder. It's not harder to rank, but when people find your article in Google, half of your title will be cut off. So if you keep to 65 characters, um, that's a great limit for reading. I've asked it not to use quotations or speech marks in the title. ChatGPT, it's got a mind of its own um, quite clearly. Um, sometimes it will add extra things. So I've told it to do that. Occasionally it misfires still and does quotation marks, but not much we can do. So what this does when we press run this module only, it's gonna write a title about deadlifting. So if we go down to bundle, we'll do choices and we'll press one and we can see here, so deadlift domination, conquer your limits. Okay. So it's written a title. So this one is going to be about deadlifting or dominating deadlifts, whatever it's deciding. And I'm sending this title here over to create a blog. So if we go to this one, I set it up exactly the same. I've told it it's a writer, but it's going to create a blog post about the title I've just written. So this is when I mean it's got a complete mind of its own. You are feeding it, then it feeds some more, and then it grows, and then you end up with a blog article. So it's going to write a blog article, and it's going to write it about the title we've just generated. I've told it to write in a friendly tone, use transitional words in an active voice. It's write as many as your words, but I've told it it must complete the blog within the token limit. Sometimes, as you've probably realized with using ChatGPT, it will stop mid-sentence. So I've told it to actually complete the blog. And I put each section should have a minimum of two paragraphs. Don't use subtitles. Um, don't use conclusion. Um, just so it's a bit more human sounding. Occasionally it was a bit robotic and it would literally have like intro subtitle, subtitle, subtitle actually written in the actual blog and then it would write conclusion. So I've told it not to use that so we get a bit of um, kind of variety and then I've said the output must be in HTML format. And what I'm doing here, I'm getting the blog completion. So and then I'm asking it to create a slug the slug is the last bit of the path of the URL. And it looks like, so if we were writing, if we go to um, like openai.com, for example, a slug is your article like this. So the bit you actually see in the URL. 
So I've asked it to create a slug based on the message title it's sent you. I know it sounds complicated. So we write a title, we pass it to the blog, the blog generates based upon the title. Then we ask it to create a slug based on the title of the blog article. So it's going backwards and forwards. What's useful about this is you will get an accurate blog based on a title and then you'll get a slug. So the forward slash on your URL based upon the title. So everything is concise and we're using the normal 3.5 turbo as well for this, nothing special. And then what I'm doing is creating some metadata and you guessed it, I'm writing metadata based upon the blog post information It's just outputted. But I've given it some parameters here. So I'm using 3.5 Turbo again. And I've asked it to take the following blog post, create website metadata. Your output must be a maximum of 160 characters in length. And I've given it the blog post. So this will generate blog posts on its own with the metadata and then pass it to WordPress to save as a draft or go straight to publish. This is currently running once per day. This is actually a live thing. Um, I won't tell you my URL, but go see if you can find it. And um, what this is doing here is then just syncing it up. So I'll run it. So as you can see here, it's generated a title. It's now creating the blog post. And this doesn't take very long. Usually 20 seconds or so. Let's see what the title is called. Unleash the power of sumo deadlifts. It's a short snappy title. It's currently writing about sumo deadlifts now. Here we go. So the blog title has been written. The post has been written. If we go down to choices and we look at the output of the blog title, um, as I mentioned earlier, it's going to write about sumo deadlifting. And here we go. So we've got exactly what we want. So our H1, unleash the power of sumo deadlifts. Introduction, it has used the word intro, but we can just delete that. It doesn't take much. It's given a little bit of a blurb about deadlifts. And then why choose sumo deadlifts? So the actual article is about sumo deadlifts using proper form, the benefits of sumo deadlifts, and then conclusion at the end. So all in all, considering I haven't written this, is not bad at all. So let's look at the slug it's generated. Uh, if we go down to choices, output, we can see here the content. So it will be my website URL forward slash sumo hyphen deadlifts power. And considering the article is called Unleash the Power of Sumo Deadlifts. It's not bad. The metadata, if we go down to choices, number one, and then here's the metadata for the actual article, which will be found in Google. So Unleash the Power of Sumo Deadlifts. This is a comfortable and efficient variation of deadlift target multiple muscle groups in your body. That's not bad at all. And then this passes it to WordPress. This will now be live on my WordPress. And um, yeah, it's finished. So this is currently running once per day, which means I can generate 30 articles a month, uh, which is a considerable amount of articles per year. Um, so yeah, be interested to see if you test this out, if you can rank on Google uh, or if Google penalizes you. I'm just doing this as an experiment, really. If you like this kind of video, drop me a like, subscribe, thumbs up, comments, all of that stuff. And uh, cheers.